Hello and welcome, my name is Peter and I want to show you how to set up Simon. So after you install Simon 0.4 and start it for the first time, you will see this first run assistant which guides you through the initial configuration. First of all, we are going to set up some scenarios. And scenarios are things that tell Simon what to listen for. So what words there are, what sentences and which commands it should accept. So we can download them uh, directly from within Simon. So by selecting download, you see this list of available scenarios. There are different languages and uh, some scenarios are tailored to work with a specific base model. But we will come to that in the next step for now. Just select the scenarios you want to install. So for this demonstration, we choose the Firefox scenario and the mouse scenario. And you can install them by simply selecting install. Some of these scenarios might have some uh, very important details. So you might want to click on details to learn more about them. Um, for now, also notice the tags here. So we now installed two scenarios tagged EN slash H4W. You can see that these uh, scenarios are now added to your selected scenario list in the wizard. In the next step, we will set up a speech model. The speech model tells Simon how your, your pronunciation works and how your speech actually sounds. You can build one your own, one uh, speech model on your own, or you can download a base model to avoid the training. So again, we can just download this uh, from online. You can see the free models available and we select the English H4W model to match up with our scenario selected in the previous step. You can see that this model has now been added to this list, so just select it. And you also have the option to allow Simon to adapt the speech model to your voice. So select that if you want. Um, if you don't have any training data, it won't make a difference. But as soon as you start training, you can improve adapted models. The next step, you can um, configure your Simon D connection. It will probably be fine for your installation if you leave it on default values. Then we get to the sound configuration. Here you can set up, you can configure the sound system of Simon. Um, the default again will probably be fine. Then you get to the volume calibration. Um, here you should make sure that Simon says that your volume is actually correct. Um, you will probably notice that this doesn't exactly match up with um, the way I'm talking now because I obviously recorded the video part of this video before doing the audio. Just make sure that Simon says the volume is correct or adjust the volume in your systems mixer if it doesn't say so. This completes the configuration and you can see that um, Simon has been started and is already active. You can also see your scenarios, your trainings, texts and so on. But for now, let's just see if everything worked. For this, let's just hide Simon and start talking. Show places. Four. Page down. Input number. One. Three. Four. Okay. Input number. One. Five. Two. Okay. Show places. Three. Control mouse, four, five, five, one, one. So this concludes this little bit of demonstration. As you can see, setting up Simon 0.4 is pretty easy. If you do get stuck, we have complete documentation of all the applications that ship with Simon. And even though the scenarios we showed in this video are pretty basic, you can already do some pretty cool stuff with it. If you do decide to try it out and get something going that you think is worth sharing, please uh, let us know in the comments or even put up a video response. I'll be happy to link it from this video. Thanks.